By training, I am a paleoanthropologist. Uh, my work is primarily based in Kenya, and I study ancient societies and you know their the technology and how the technology changed. And of course, you you look at those changes within the context of environmental change. But there is also an aspect of doing human origins research in Africa that you know people have really not looked at. How do the people feel about the research that is being done there? Especially since a lot of it is being done by Westerners. How do the people feel about Africa as the cradle of humanity? Because there has been a kind of distancing of the locals from the products of prehistory research. Um, especially since there is, there's a lot of misinformation about what human origins in Darwinian you know, evolution is about. One of the things that I, you know, I, that I love about teaching at Yale um, is that the students challenge you and you also learn things from them. Um, so I, I teach this class called The Social Dimensions of Evolution and students you know, challenged me to get the locals more involved in my, in my human origins work. I was telling them how I do community outreach and the students asked me, so why just do the community outreach? Why don't you make them active knowledge co-producers? So why do you need a PhD to identify a stone tool on, on, on your farm? And why do you need a PhD to identify a faucet? That got me thinking. And I, I went ahead and implemented that and it has yielded amazing results to, actually to a degree that we are a little bit overwhelmed by the, by the fines. From a scientific perspective, um, the, the research that I engaged in um, went outside of the traditional regions where, you know, that have been the focus of human origin studies and that had been the, the extensive rift. My, my parents on, on both sides um, are from the central highlands of Kenya, so I have, you know, a special interest in that area. And so we did start looking in the highlands because nobody seemed to think that, you know, human ancestors were around the highlands. We have found a lot of things and all they all point to this area having been a sort of hub of you know human evolution that's outside of, of the rift. The oldest human ancestor we have from that area is six hundred thousand years. We have found extinct, you know, four tasked elephants. And the greatest thing is that our knowledge co production model of using locals has led to the discovery of these sites.